I think the key was just to stay calm, just to chill, you know, adaptability. You know, I, I've always tried to run my life by the idea that adapt or die, you know, so if, yeah, you have plans, like I'm supposed to get married this year in September, might not happen, might happen, but you know, you just gotta take the punches and roll with it, man. That's one thing I learned from doing martial arts. And... COVID sucked. <laughs> just kind of shut everything down, slowed us down. It's done a lot of bad things to a lot of people. Um, I work for W.L. Gore, so we haven't been shut down. Our manufacturing team's been open, so they've been on the floor. Oh, you're both Jonathan? Yeah, we're both Jonathan. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. <laughs> personally, I guess personally, since I'm a bit younger, I'm not like super like afraid of it. Um, but it obviously, it's affecting all the older people, any infants and everything like that. Anybody who... Um, and it has an illness already existing. Um, but personally, of course, I, I'm, I'm usually stay inside normally anyway, so it's not like it's been affecting me mentally or anything. I'm usually inside anyway, because I'm, I'm an introvert more than anything. I, I always encourage um, calculated risks. I think that it's important to know that uh, or to understand that no matter what part of life, whatever season of life you're in, you're not without risk, whether it's driving a car or the flu season or coronavirus or whatever's going on, threats of nuclear war in the 70s and 80s. I mean, there's always gonna be some sort of threat of something. And, you know, fear can lead you down a really weird place. Don't put your whole life on hold. Be smart, but don't put your whole life on hold.